Our next fighter making his way to the cage, Shohei Kijitora Yamamoto. That's Sunday, August 24th of 2014, Shohei Yamamoto and Ramon Todorovic stepped into the cage for the University of Mixed Martial Arts Welterweight Championship. I'm Rich Slayton, joined by Larry Landless to lead you through the action here as the belt is on the line. On his way to the cage right now in the blue corner, 4-0, 24-year-old Shohei Yamamoto fighting out of CSW, cornered by the fantastic wrestler and longtime mixed martial arts legend Josh Barnett. Josh Barnett, yeah, and this guy is a Kyokushin uh, karate expert done it all his life and uh, the chance of Eric Paulson, Josh Barnett, two-time junior world champion uh, karate and uh, this this guy is somebody that we need to keep an eye on. He's definitely got what it takes. He's got a winning record 4-0 of course and uh, <laughs> he's got a variety of skills. We'll see how that translates with if he gets taken down training with Eric Paulson and Josh Barnett see how well he goes. Shohei in his fourth fight here at the U taking on our champion, Ramon Todorovic. His opponent making his way to the cage, Ramon the Gladiator Todorovic! your champion with five wins and just one loss fighting out of Team Elite in Torrance, California, 24-year-old Ramon Todorovic. Yes. His lone loss coming back in 2011 in his first fight. Since then though, on a tear, five wins and no losses. The last four of those wins coming here at Club Nokia inside the cage for the University of Mixed Martial Arts. Yeah, this Palencia High School uh, sports football, high school wrestling, won league two years in a row. Athlete of the Year nominee for football and wrestling. He is elite Black House, uh, team elite Black House MMA. And believe it or not, this guy is a Bosnia refugee. Four years it took him to get to be allowed into America. He had to stay in Germany for four years. Uh, applied for citizenship, took seven years before him and his family were allowed to become American citizens. And right now, this kid is 100% American because he's got that winning spirit, that winning attitude, and I was the first to welcome him into our country. Well, he has made a home for himself, not only in America, but also inside the cage here at the U. Four consecutive wins. Most recently, out wrestling the powerful wrestler Jared Connor to take the title back in February. This fight's been postponed a number of times. We've all been waiting for it to happen. The high level, truly world class Kyokushin karate of Shohei Yamamoto against the fantastic and dangerous submission grappling of Roman Todorovic. If there's any fight that is made to be a championship bout in the amateur ranks, this is it. <laughs> to get this thing started, let's go inside the cage with Salvador Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the main event of the evening. Brought to you by Bodybuilding.com. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the University of Mixed Martial Arts Welterweight Championship title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Kyokushin Karate and Cats wrestling practitioner. He steps into the cage with a perfect record of four wins and no losses. All four wins coming by way of knockout. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in at 168.8 pounds, representing CSW from Oceanside, Oceanside, California, Shohei Kajitora Yamamoto. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist. He comes to the fight 
with an impressive record of five wins and one loss. Two wins coming by way of submission. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in officially at 170.8 pounds. Fighting with Elite Training Center from Redondo Beach, California. He is the current, he is the defending U of MMA welterweight champion, Roman the Gladiator Todorovic. Michael Bell gave instructions. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions backstage. Defend yourself at all times, obey my commands all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back to your corner. Matt in charge of the action, Mike Bell. <clears throat> the hardware is on the line. Matchmaker Jay Tan and you of MMA President Turi Altavia making it official. This is for the 170 pound championship. Roman Todorovic, the champion in the white trunks. Shohei Yamamoto, the challenger in the black trunks. This is the U of MMA. It starts here. And they're off. <clears throat> Yeah, that faints and quick, crazy hands. So he's looking for his, yeah, he's looking for his uh, distance. Wise of uh, Roman to uh, ground him. He needs to keep him grounded. He needs to keep him grounded. Gun needs to wear him down. Hurt him. This is where the fight is. The fight is who can decide how they fight. Will Shohei force Roman to strike? Will Roman force Shohei onto the ground? Now. Interesting Crossface. note here, yeah. Shohei spent a lot of time preparing specifically to uh, for off the cage wrestling. He knows this is where Roman uh, flourishes and his goal has been to make sure Roman can't press him up against the cage. Well, Eric Paulson's a genius, you know. He, he's, he, I'm sure they covered this in class and Josh Barnett also. Um, he knows what he's doing, he knows what he's doing. We gotta get him back on the ground over here if he wants to. If Shohei escapes from this position, uh, it could be a problem for Roman. First round is going to be important to dictate what's going to happen later in the fight. He needs to get on the ground, but he needs to also hurt him. Roman doing a good up, job staying up. tight. Shohei, though, hips holding stalwart so far. Shohei's tough, man. He's keep, got to keep that head pressing down. He keeps pressing that head down. It's been a problem. Nice change of direction. He's got him in the open mat. Shohei's got to work his way to the cage if he wants to escape. Oh, bad, bad. Oh, not bad at all there. He's coming out the back door. Yeah, he should have just went behind Roman. Big knee to the body from Shohei Yamamoto. Fantastic uh, escape. Yeah, he's a good striker, boy. He is a good striker. Roman lands a jab. Shohei. Shohei's moving well. Really he, digging that switch kick to the body. Wow. Well, actually hit the elbow. Oh, big up. Wow, yes. Drops Roman Hurt him. The champion is in trouble. He's in big trouble now. He's hurt. He is hurt. Roman slowed oh, down significantly. Because he's going high and low. He's catching him. Shohei, left hook, catches wow. Roman on the temple. Roman ducks under. Wow. Huge double leg. You're seeing both of these guys do what they do best right now. Yeah, he was teeing off on him, boy. That that could have won him the round, just that exchange right there. This, this takedown is defensive. It's telling you, hey, I'm taking too much punishment. I don't want to take no more standing, so let's take it to the ground. He needs to pass a better position. He needs to start to hurt this guy. Shohei using those butterflies to wow. get back to his feet. Wow. Kick blocked from Roman. Left jab, though, lands. Wow. Big knee to the body from Shohei Yamamoto. Kick goes upstairs. Roman ducks yeah. under. Wow. Another beautiful takedown. Right in the middle of the mat. He's in his guard. So it's a defensive takedown. It's a defensive takedown. He's not doing anything offensively to do enough damage. So hey, 10 8, 10 9, 10 9. Unbelievable round so far from these two competitors. You know, we're seeing a master class both in Kyokushin Karate and in takedown wrestling. That double leg from Roman Todorovic consistently working, putting Shohei Yamamoto on his back. Yeah, but uh, it was defensive. The, the takedown is defensive because of the strikes that were occurring at the time. You can't weigh a defensive takedown and give it any, any weight unless he's moving to an offensive position where he could strike him, where he could do something, get a submission hold, a possible submission hold. He didn't do none of that. He stayed in the guard and took damage, and then he escaped, got some great strikes in. That last exchange Shohei got on the feet 
was what turned the round, what turned that round into his favor. I go 10-9, Shohei. Shohei Yamamoto won his first world championship at Kyokushin Karate at 16 years old. Since then has been working to transition it into the cage. Now, pay attention, Shohei talking about that off the cage wrestling, working very well for him so far. Let's see if Roman can turn it around it here in round number two. And it was smart for him to keep it in the middle. Quick with that front inside leg kick is Shohei. Wow. Nice jab from Roman Todorovic. Big wow. wheel kick. He went for the money there. The wheel kick catches Roman, but Shohei slips and catches, or Roman catches Shohei with an overhand right on the way back in. Wow, on his head. Is he out? No, he's still in it. He's still in it. He landed right on his head. Beautiful slam into side control for Roman. Right now, he's trying to see if oh. he can Roman control oh, the body. Oh, of that's deep. That is a problem. That is a problem. It's very far under the neck, but Shohei not oh, in his no, body. He's, he controls he's, that. That's oh it. Oh my God. Roman Todorovic wow. defends the title. Wow. Guillotine oh, submission cow. in round number two. Wow, what a come from behind win. He was in serious trouble. Wow. You know, to be honest, we see the replay. When he landed on his head, it may have affected him because he didn't land on his back. He landed right on the back of his head. He looked, he looked stunned. Here we go. That's a championship level performance from yes. the submission grappler, Roman Adorovich. You can see nice. he has it under the neck here. Shohei and Roman battling for body position. You know, until Roman gets that leg trapped, he does not have the yeah. torque for it, but as soon as he traps it down, that's it. Finishes at 50 seconds into round number two. Roman Todorovic maintains his belt. If he could get that replay where he gets a slam and drops him on his head. Because from that point on, it didn't look like he was doing much. Just kind of scrambling. Wow, we saw it all in this fight. The extremely high level striking of Shohei Yamamoto. You know, that wheel kick, if that had landed an inch different in a, in an inch different direction, Roman might be the one asleep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's part of MMA right there, buddy. It's a game of inches. Roman Todorovic found the wow. inches he needed. You see this scramble. Right now, Shohei trying to keep Roman's legs away from his body. But as he gets to it, gets up here, Roman pulls him back into that guard, throws yeah. the half guard on, rolls him over. And that's it, the pressure is there on the neck. Good, good, good stoppage. Let's go make this official inside the cage with Salvador Ariano. The third man in the ring, Mike Bell, brings a fight to a halt 50 seconds into the second round. Your winner by way of Capaldudo Guillotine and still the University of Mixed Martial Arts welterweight champion, Roman the Gladiator Todorovic. Wow. Give it up. That is what you call a championship fight. Good God, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I did not breathe through that whole fight, champ. How are you feeling? We got to give it up to Shohei Yamamoto. Excellent competitor. You guys clap it up for him. No booze. No, no booze. booze. That was one of the most exciting fights we have ever seen here at the U. Dude. Most exciting? Talk to me about that fight. One of the most exciting? One of the most exciting. Definitely fight of the night? Definitely fight of the night. You guys I, hear I, that? Fight of the night? <laughs> fight of the night, guys? Yeah? All right, I'll take it. That was a battle of wills. You wanted to take him down? I did, definitely. He yeah. wanted to stand up. You won. I, I knew that if he got close enough, we could take him down, take advantage of that, exploit that. He is a heavy hitter. So, you know, just got to stay in there, stay confident, take a couple punches, take him down, make it ugly, just like myself. So, you know, the, the ugly wrestling. And the result is and still champion. Yes, baby, that's it. First round or second round sub too, right? Yep. Pretty big deal. That's good stuff. You want to thank everybody for coming out and screaming and yelling? Yes. 
Thank you, everyone that shows up. U of MMA fans, you're phenomenal. All my fans from Elite Training Center, thank you so much for always supporting. Torrance Family, Urgent K and South Bay Pain Docs, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Always take care of me. Um, all my sponsors, Rockaholics, um, Hangover Drink, thank you so much. Mentum Eyewear, Performax Labs, check them out online. One on one, Rock and Fish, after party after this, guys, come down and get a drink. Uh, Battle Bars, check them out. I think I've. Black House, <coughs> Bolt Wrestling, all my coaches, you guys, thank you so much. My training partners, they put me through the works to come in here and be prepared. I love you guys so much. Couldn't do it without a single one of you. Give it up for him. Your champion, your welterweight champion, Roman Todorovic. And still, the University of Mixed Martial Arts welterweight champion, Roman Todorovic. Yeah. <laughs> this kid, uh, it was a problem for a minute there. I definitely didn't think he won the first round. I definitely think he was probably starting to lose the second round until that happened. So. Yeah, it didn't look too promising, but hung in there, got that front, that, that, that guillotine, and uh, ended it. <laughs> Fantastic performance, championship level from both fighters. Both fighters. I definitely want to see uh, that other kid come back, uh, Shoei. I definitely want to see him come back and fight. He's, he's a joy to watch.